What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at it again at Copart North in Portland, Oregon. Yeah, I flew all the way out here just to make a couple videos for you. So I hope you enjoy. Hit the thumbs up button, man. It wasn't easy. Hit that thumbs up button. Tell me you appreciate the content as much as I appreciate you watching the video. Now, without further ado, let's jump in to this video. Number one on my list is a 1971 Chevy C10. This is the one you want, guys. This is the short wheelbase. Look at her, orange and black, beautiful color combo. Looks like she's probably riding on some 20s, black as well, very, very tasteful. Somebody did a good job on this, and I love this color. This is a beautiful orange. Oh man, it is. Look at her. Tell me you would not drive the living hell out of this. She needs a bed. Um, I'm, pretty sure it, I'm pretty sure this one would be like the wood bed. All right, so that's pretty much all that's lacking, I think, is putting the wooden floor down. Got your fuel tank right here. I think, is this, a, is this a single or a double fuel tank? It's only got one fuel tank, right? Okay, they've welded all of this shut. So all of this is capped off. There's your sending unit. That's been capped off, and I guess to fill it, yeah, to fill the fuel tank right there. I'm not sure if that's a exactly the way you're supposed to do it but that's how it is anyway you'll need to figure out a better option for a fuel system i think it looks like she's got some dual flow masters really nice looking exhaust she's got some lowering springs newer looking shocks it's a clean truck it's a very clean truck another thing i noticed there's no uh there's no door handle here that's okay <laughs> okay i didn't bother checking to see if the other side has a door handle it doesn't um, well, <laughs> okay, so I am now sitting here trying to figure out how exactly, oh, you know what, you got to reach your hand in through the window, I guess, and, and, and open it. There you go. Okay. All right, let's close that window again, though, because if you leave it open, you're going to make a mess of it. This interior is pretty nice, too. I honestly, I, I would, I would like to have door handles. I think door handles, door handles would be very nice. Uh, she does have seat belts. What else we got? We got a nice tack right in the center. Oh, the seat! Wow! Oh, somebody did a great job on that seat. Oh, that feels nice. You got a Chevrolet rearview mirror right there. That's uh, you know needing a little work. We do have some keys. Oh, it's got a door popper. I'm guessing. Oh. No, no door popper. You've got a two-way right here. Yeah, somebody, somebody was proud of this. I don't blame them one bit. This thing is nice. It's got power. Oh, the steering co oh the steering column's missing the shifter because the shifter is now on the floor. It's been relocated. All right. Let's see if I can figure this out here. Key in. All right. It is an automatic. Very. Interesting. You got this like pistol grip shifter right here yeah uh-oh so there must be a button to start it lovely well she's listed as a run and drive and i'm probably just an idiot but i can't figure out how to start it i do see some wires under here i was looking for maybe a hidden like remote start switch you know, a starter switch that's hidden under here somewhere, but I'm just not, I'm not seeing it. And when I turn it to the run position, it doesn't do anything at all. So let's go ahead and pop the hood real quick and just take a peek. Maybe there's something under here we can figure out. Oh, wow. The hood hinges are bent. The, they're bent bad. Dang, man. Yeah, those hood hinges are folded in. Those are bad. Looks like we got some more uh, hooker headers down there and a nice little small block 350 under there. Looks like someone did a pretty good job putting it together. Everything under here looks relatively fresh. I'm not gonna say brand spanking new, but I mean, it looks pretty dang good. She's got a decent stereo system in her. She's still got her heater box. That's good. It's always good to have that. You got a aluminum radiator. I'm going to assume maybe a three or four, maybe a four core, definitely a three to four core radiator. Yeah, I don't see, uh, I'm not sure what happened to the hood there. That's a shame. That's a shame. And I can't figure out how to start it. 
Uh, it is listed as a run drive, so obviously there is a method to getting this thing to fire up. I just don't know what it is. If you guys see something that I'm missing on how to start this, please comment right now and tell me. There's a little two-way pager thing right there. You got your Pioneer stereo system right there. Hell, you got a fuse right here. Uh, uh, I don't know what I don't know what any of this goes to. It looks like was this factory air conditioning or is this just heat? I don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping that one of these is a fake is a fake switch. <laughs> I don't think it is. She could also just have a dead battery. Um, could totally be a dead battery, especially the way that it might be a dead battery. Let's put a jump on it. Well, she definitely had a dead battery. It's only registering at about 8 volts, but I still think we should have heard the starter at least try to do something. Well, I'll be dipped. all that work and you still don't want to run you got to be kidding me come on come on she's not gonna run is she guys <laughs> Oh man, this is why everybody switches to fuel injection. I am a big I am a big supporter of carburetors, man, but when when you get to something like this, it's like give me a break, man. Give me a break. She wants to. She really wants to. Let's try it again. No. We'll try it one more time, guys. I'm killing my battery pack over here. I can't keep doing this. If it doesn't start this time, we're just going to have to leave her be. One more. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> should I give up? Should I give up or should we try it one more time? All right. Yeah, we're killing the booster pack. As much as I'd like to sit here and uh, continue playing with her. I can't make sure I left this window open so so the next person can get in. There it goes. Yeah, I gotta save the booster pack, guys. We got a few more cars to look at, and I know I just I just put the hurting on this one. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you can't win them all, man. I was really hoping to get this fired up for you. I bet she sounds mean as hell. It sure does look nice. It's a beautiful truck. I have no doubt you could get it running easily. She just needs a little fuel. Maybe needs some adjustment like carburetor. Uh, wait, is that a manual choke? It's a manual choke, Randy. How about the choke is open? Dummy, dummy, dummy. Hold on. Hold on. I really want it. I really want to hear this run. <laughs> I didn't see the choke. Where's the where's the where's the choke? Where's the choke? Where's the where did they hide the choke on the damn thing? I don't see it. I don't see it. I do not see a choke in here. It's probably right in front of me, and I'm just dang missing it. Okay. I don't see it, guys. Damn it. I could try to go under there manually. Just I'm not going to, though. Like I said, we're killing the, killing the battery pack. It's a wrap. We're just going to have to move on to the next one. Let's see what else we can find out here. Next on my list, a running driving 26,000 mile 1988 Cadillac Brougham limousine. <laughs> This wasn't just a little limousine either, guys. This is a big, big, super big stretch limo. This right here. Oh, man. Current bid on this, $1,200. $1,200 is the current bid on this bad boy right here. I'm here to tell you. Oh, this thing's like straight out of a movie. Look, it's even got the, the telephone. You got the intercom for the back where you can pick up a phone and tell the driver, driver, turn down that air conditioning. Oh, Lord have mercy. This thing is, this thing is it. This is it right here. This is it. 
and it's a runner and a driver. Are you kidding me? Two sunroofs, and I don't know where I would have more fun, in the front or in the back. Oh, wow. You've got your glass partition right here that's currently down. Let's fire it up. She's got power too. Now it's probably not 26,000 miles. It's probably 126,000. There we go. Oh no, she's dead. Moonroof, front, rear, divider, power, moonroof, power, battery, bar, rear, power. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm willing to, I'm willing to use a little bit of my booster pack juice for this one, guys. This is a must. What do you think's under the hood? A 5.7 or 5.0? Surely they didn't put a 5.0 under the hood of this. They would have been out of their minds to put a 5.0. They did. You're kidding me. They put a 5 liter under the hood of here? Oh, wow. Okay, let's put a jump on it. Moment of truth. I guarantee you she'll run. Don't worry, we're going to climb in the back, but I got to hear this thing run first. No! Yes! Yes! Battery, bar, rear power. Oh, we got lights now. Let's turn that off. We don't need that. We don't need that. What I want is, uh, I want to, uh, I want to roll my partition up. Thank you. Oh, it's not tinted? There it is. Look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, sir, we need some privacy. We're about to get buck wild back here, so close it up. Hold on, look at this. It, excuse me. You guys need to quiet it down back there. I can't hear a daggum thing I'm trying to drive and she is screaming too loud. Do you understand me? I'm, fi I'm fired. I will drive this off a cliff with you in it, Mr. President. <laughs> Oh, dude, this is super slick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! There you go. Go down. Go down. Ooh! Ooh! Life of luxury, man. I'm telling look, we got TV, radio, fan. Oh, man, come on. Does it go into gear? Oh, it does. Oh, it does. <laughs> now, I'm not going to close this door because I know if I close the door, uh, something bad is going to happen. I won't be able to get back in. But uh, excuse me while I uh, jump into my humble automobile. Oh, dude. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Hey, look at this. We got glass partition, moonroof, bar door. Hold on, what? What bar? What do you wait, 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 wait. What bar door? This, hold on, what, wait. No, no. It's this. Okay, that's where you keep your champagne. We got a, a, a high class Sony Trinitron. XVM8 monitor right here. You got a Sony EQ. You got a Kenwood tape deck. A Panasonic Omnivision VHS. Who are you kidding me? Up, oh, up. Oh. That's the television. The problem is, uh, I don't get any picture. I'm not getting any picture, man. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got, some, we got some static. Let's see if we can get... We ain't going to get nothing on this. <laughs> Guys, you got to be kidding. Maybe there's a tape in it. There's not. Yeah. Well, hey, it was worth a shot. You got all these buttons. Oh. Oh. I don't know what that does. I'm telling you what, this right here, 
this, this is it. I, I would buy this in a heartbeat. I would. Hold on. I mean, I can I can get so relaxed right here. Oh, guys, I need this in my life. Hold on. I need to open my sunroof. Oh, let's get a little light in here. That better? Nah, I like it dark. I want this. I want this so bad. I want this so, so bad. This is freaking nice. Oh, it even smells good. It smells expensive. Look at this shag floor right here, this carpet. Look at this. Uh, all right. Enough horsing around. We got to get back to work, guys. When I say get back to work, I mean, I got I to gotta start driving somebody important around in my 1988 Cadillac Brome. Oh, let's shut all that off. Maybe the battery will stay alive this time. Oh, there's, I got no way to get this back home though. None, none at all. If I were to win it, there's no way I could get it back to the house. Hell, I don't even have a trailer this thing would fit on. I mean, I would almost be willing to come get it, but I don't even have a trailer that I could pull this sucker back with. That's a shame, that's a shame. Oh well, we're gonna close up shop on this one. Move on to the next one. Next on my list is a 2018 Audi A5 Premium. I don't know what's premium about it. Uh, well, that grill looks like someone just went to town on that. That's awful. She, she's rough, guys. The wheels are rough. The tires are bad. Body's not in that great of shape either. It's a 2.0? Really? Okay. Well, I mean, it's a coupe though, right? It's got that going for it. 44,666 miles on the odometer. Let's take a look at the inside. I've never seen an A5 before. At least I don't think so. Uh, at least it's got the S-Line package, right? Oh, it's an A5 Quattro. All right. Got the all-wheel drive. Um, I think there's supposed to be a, a, a glass cover here that's missing. I wonder if this is like a theft. All right, well, that's nice, I suppose. It's pretty nasty in here. Take a look at the at the buttons and stuff, man. Ugh, ugh, this is gross. This is gross. I mean, it runs. Backup cam works. It goes into reverse. All that good stuff. Parking brake is on. Valet parking activated. Hey, man, I didn't activate anything. Drive select. We've got dynamic, individual, comfort, auto. Okay, so I guess dynamic is basically sport. Air conditioning is nice and cold. Important window work. Of course it does. It's only got 44,000 miles on it, man. I'll tell you what, these are 44,000 hard miles, though. These were hard miles right here. Got that nice panoramic roof. But she's all right. She's all right. But this grill, like somebody tried to, I don't even think they plastic dipped it. I think they literally sprayed over the beautiful chrome with black rattle can uh, paint. Ugh. Well, boy, ooh, gross. This poor car, yeah, this has been 44,000 really hard miles, guys. Really hard miles. I mean, look how nasty it is under here. That's interesting. We've got uh, writing on the catalytic converter in white paint. That's a little on the bizarre side, 44,000 miles. I mean, it looks like it's easy to get to everything. Very easy to work on. Is this car underwater or something? I mean, this is just... She looks pretty rough under here, guys. I got I got suspicions about this one. I do. I don't know if it went underwater or what. It's still going to go for more money than what I can afford, though. All right. I guess there really ain't much more to show on this one. Let's go ahead and uh, shut her down. There we go. And let's go find something else. 
I just was walking looking for the next car and I came across this El Camino it looks like I don't know maybe a 74 by the front grill it's a 75 okay it's a 75 biohazard look at that seat dash oh wow <sighs> why No, the hood is jammed. She doesn't have keys. This thing is beautiful. Well, it was beautiful. Uh, not so much anymore. <sighs> what a shame. Look at this tire. Look at this. The bumper is beautiful. Like, <laughs> I'm kind of kind of confused on this. She is rough, but at the same time, she is in really good condition. Uh, the hood is jammed. Can't pop it. Can't see what's under it. Lots of mildew and mold. She's obviously been sitting under something for a very long time. But man, even the original badges are still here. Look at this right here. Look at this El Camino badge with the Chevy emblem on the back. What a shame. All right, moving on. Well, I couldn't pass this one up either. I'm walking by it. It's a 1984 Toyota Tercel. I'm not gonna spend any real time on it. I just walked by and I was like, wow, I haven't seen one of these since, well, I don't know, 1990. Um, boy, she's nice. I, I, I mean, okay, it's not the prettiest car ever made, but this one is actually in really good shape. It shows 279,000 miles on the odometer. And I want you to look at this interior. Look at this. Is the mileage right? Yes, 279.087.1. Wow. 300,000 miles. And she looks very, very good. Toyota, mad respect and mad props on this one. Uh, that's insane. Next on my list is a 66 Charger. Well, I hope you guys didn't click off the video. I hope you stayed. Uh, there's so many good ones out here today. A 66 Charger. Now she's rough. She's real rough. Can't lie about that. You can look at it and see she's rough. But damn, man. Beautiful car beautiful car let's see if we can can we open this this trunk here just a tad bit see what's in it we got lots of parts hood hinges trim door panels she's got some rust not too surprising i'm not going to mess with this uh i definitely don't want to uh once you take this off, it, it can be kind of hard to put it back. I'm not going to mess with it. Uh, this, somebody's already opened this, so I don't feel too bad about it. It looks like someone really went to town on opening it. Um, can we see? Is there anything under here? Hold on. I'm not going to... Nope. I can't see. It's open on this side over here, and it's dented up in the front pretty good. It, this has been opened. Hold on. Somebody's already opened this. I'll put it I'll put this back down but I definitely want to see uh definitely want to see under the hood of this one there we go oh wow I didn't expect that <laughs> I didn't expect to see that under the hood oh wow now I'm not really a Mopar guy so I can't tell you for sure what the heck that is uh She's got headers, and it's red, and it's got an Edelbrock carburetor. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, 360? Uh, maybe a 390? I, I don't know. I don't know. She's got a stick under there, too. Power brake booster. She looks nice. Look at that. Now, that's a four-core radiator. I'm almost certain that one's a four-core. Massive radiator. Oh, wow. Okay, let me try to set this hood down and, and, and tape it back up. Next, we'll take a look at this interior. And, and like I said, she is rough. The instrument cluster is either gone or somewhere back there. You got some door panels, the seats. 
not the worst I've ever seen. And we got a lot of stuff in the back here, guys. Like I said, trim, more seats, door panels, looks like the center console. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff back there. Golly, this is awful nice. This really is. And the door still shuts. Look at that, and it's got no post, right? Nothing there, so when you roll the windows down, this whole thing is wide open. Beautiful car. Last one, guys, 2006 Audi A6 wagon. Why? Well, why not, man? I like it, I like it. 131,000 miles, I think it's a slick looking wagon. All right, you know, agree, disagree, whatever. Everybody's got an opinion, but I like this. I do. It's a cute wagon that honestly I would drive. There aren't a whole lot of wagons that I'd be I'd be okay with driving, but this one, this one is one for sure. I like it. It's a Quattro, so she's all wheel drive, 3.2 liter. Okay. You think she's got juice? I hope so, because I left my booster pack way out yonder, sitting under the sitting under the Dodge Charger. Yeah, she's got juice. Good, good, good. Because I could pick my booster pack up on the way out. Yes, sir. ESP fault, passenger airbag off, distractions, cause accidents, yada yada yada. Thank you. We I don't need all of that except. There we go. We got nav. Ooh, fancy navigation. We got a traction control light. And that's it. That's it. Oh, and now a low fuel light. And a brake light. Okay, as I'm sitting here, more lights are popping up. I suppose that's the way it goes, right? Uh, the rear windshield wiper is going, you know, doing its thing. Uh, I would turn it off, but... Hell, I don't, uh, I don't know how. I don't know how to, oh, that's, yep, nope, I don't know. Well, eh, okay, I don't have to turn off, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Boy, it warmed up, huh? Six, I thought I was starting to sweat. It went from the 50s and suddenly it started getting warm and I'm sitting here going, man, whew, I almost don't want this jacket anymore. I don't know why this one's here. I don't know if this is a salvage or what the deal is with it, but she sounds good. Look at that beautiful pink coolant. The engine is running perfectly. What a trooper. What a trooper. I really like this. Man, they got some good cars out here, guys. And the prices are really good out here, too, I'm telling you. Um, oh, she's peeing. Oh, you got a little organizer back here. You can adjust it and lock it down. Hell, that's nice, too. This thing is awesome. What we got under here? Nothing. I was thinking there might be seats back here, but I'm guessing, I'm guessing there's no seats back here. Oh, does it close itself? Oh, yes, it does. Wait. There we go. Yeah. Oh, man. They've got some good cars out here, ladies and gentlemen. They really do. I got to admit, I'm, I'm really impressed with the yard here. Uh, I've really enjoyed myself today. So I definitely want to give a big shout out and thank you to uh, Copart for allowing me to come out here and, and bother them today. Uh-oh, does this... Oh, shoot. I didn't want to start it. I want to take the dang key out. I can't, I can't take the key out. Oh, no. Um, okay, hey. The key seems to be stuck. What the heck? I'm pushing and... <laughs> is there some trick dude no way the key is not stuck in here it is yeah it's stuck okay whatever well ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this content if you did hit the thumbs up button man i would truly appreciate it share the video with your friends if you think your friends would be interested in it thank you thank you copart corporate and this local north cornfoot uh drive 
Copart place here. I appreciate all these people so much for taking the time out of their day to facilitate me coming here and uh, basically going through their stuff. Like, uh, <laughs> I have a lot of fun doing that. I'm not sure how they feel about it, but they've been so friendly, super nice. And I gotta give a, a big shout out and thank you to Copart for letting me come out here and do this. I really, truly appreciate it. Guys, I'm gonna get out of here. I got some more recording to do, but like I said, we'll be back in another one. Stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon in the next one.